From now on, a world that is Wogan less. Chris Evans remembering his predecessor on this morning's Radio 2 breakfast show. What a man, a giant of entertainment broadcasting, truly one of the all-time greats. He was our Captain Mannering, our Basil Fawlty, but he made us laugh every day for over 30 years. To be given Terry's show in the first place, you know, in 2009 was one thing, but to do a show, his show, in these extraordinary circumstances today, that was entirely another. And, uh, you know, the first half hour was, was a bit wobbly, to be honest. Um, but then we started playing clips of him laughing. And, he's, you know, the irony of it is he's got us over it, which is perfect in a way. For its final five years, the producer of Sir Terry's Breakfast Show was Alan Boyd. If you were to say to me, which a few people have today, you know, any lasting memory, I don't think it would be one particular memory. It would be a generic thing of fun and laughter because we laughed every day. And I was very privileged to be able to do that every morning. Even at that early hour? Even at that early hour, yeah, yeah, even at that early hour. Sir Terry never forgot his roots. Is it, do you think, because you're Irish? No, I don't think it's because I'm Irish. I think the Irish thing contributes to it because it's the fact that I'm Irish that makes me different from other disc jockeys. In 2007, he was honoured by being made a freeman of the city of Limerick. Today, viewers and listeners in the city of his birth paid their own tribute, signing books of condolence. Radio host, TV presenter, the face of children in need. So many are remembering a man who meant so much to them. Lisa Mazimba, BBC News.